Valorant is huge. There is no denying that. It averages almost 3 million players daily, only in the beta. A lot of the top streamers gave it a try, and it broke records on Twitch, which is partially due to the drop system, which is actually going to be a very important part of this video, because one question that we are asking here is, what is going to happen to Valorant's viewer base and its player base after the game is released and drops are disabled? Because some streamers have already called the game boring to watch, and other streamers have already quit the game entirely, so what will Valorant's future look like? First, let's look at Valorant's Twitch page. Page. Obviously, there's been a decline in people watching solely for drops since more people have gotten access to the game, but once the game is released, no one will need to watch Valorant streams for drops anymore, so whatever percentage of viewers watching streams for drops will be gone. Streamers like Anomaly really capitalized on the drop system with those 24-hour streams, which obviously, yeah, that helped this channel grow a lot, it got a lot of viewers from it, but it doesn't really say much for the longevity of your stream and your channel when people were coming to your stream primarily for drops and for beta access and since then his Valorant viewership has dropped substantially. And still there's not too many of the big big streamers like Doc Tim and Summit who are still playing Valorant consistently. A lot of them kind of floated back to their favorite games whether it be Warzone or Fortnite or Sea of Thieves in Summit's case and they all had kind of their fair share of complaints about Valorant which is why I question if they're going to be sticking with the game in the future and for its release. Tim was playing Valorant when he had a big complaint about how much utility is in the game which again like I just said makes me question if he's going to continue playing it. They smoked here. They're coming here. Okay. There's too much fucking shit in this game. There's too much fucking shit. There's too much shit. There's too much fucking shit. In Counter Strike, you have one smoke, right? In this game, you have, uh, um, you have, uh, um, who's the teleport guy? You have his smoke, right? You got Brim Smoke. You have Phoenix Flash. You have Breach Flash. You have Sage Slow. There's too, there's too much shit. I, 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 I can't see anything. Ah, dude, I'm just used to Counter-Strike. Just adapt, forehead, right? Absolutely, you're right. Just adapt. Look I didn't think about it that way. I know that I You're right. I have to adapt. Right, 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 right. And Dr. Disrespect and Tim actually made a bet to see who would get placed higher in Valorant's ranked system. And once they were both finished, Doc placed Bronze 3 while Tim got Silver 2. And because of that, Doc actually had to gift him 100 subs which Doc really didn't care about too much, but he was really, really excited to uninstall Valorant after that. Okay, I go to subscribe. Complete purchase. I thought I, I, I was already described. I, I was already. I was already subscribed to his channel, man. I, this is what Valorant does. First off, before I give to 100 subs, I, the one thing I have been looking forward to all day is getting rid of this game off my computer, period. Never playing it again. Program. Valorant. Uninstall. Absolutely. Get rid of the, get, get rid of Vanguard too. Get it off my system. Right, two hundred and fifty thousand dollar PC. You think I'm gonna have some Vanguard security system on it? Wrong. And then Doc actually unfollows Shroud and Ninja on Twitter for making fun of him for getting Bronze Three, which is besides the point. But the point is, is that Doc clearly doesn't enjoy playing the game and he doesn't enjoy viewing the game, and he's probably not the only one, so I imagine that there might be some other streamers following in his footsteps and just dropping the game entirely. But how do you guys think this is gonna pan out? Do you think that we'll see a large decrease in viewership and people actually streaming it once the game is out, or do you think it's gonna be the opposite and Valorant is just gonna stay strong and maybe even surge in viewership once the game is out? Let me know down below, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and if you do, please drop a like, because that helps the channel out, and, and we like help help is nice. Anyway, have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.